All right, parts of the southern U.S. are on high alert as the deadly storm Claudette continues its destructive path. The storm regained strength after downgrading to a tropical depression over the weekend. Warnings are now in effect along the North Carolina coast as the storm heads northeast. It is blamed for causing more than a dozen deaths over the weekend, including the 10 killed in a multi-vehicle crash on a state highway an hour south of Montgomery. Among the killed were nine children. Jesse Mitchell is outside Baptist Medical Center in Montgomery, where some patients are still being treated. Jesse, how are people responding? Vlad, it is a very sad morning here in Alabama. As some people are recovering, many are mourning those dead, most of whom were lost in a single highway crash that killed all of those children, as you just mentioned. And two among the dead here in the state were young fathers with their young children. For the family of Cody Fox and his daughter Ariana, Father's Day is forever changed. The volunteer firefighter and nine-month-old are among 10 dead from this multi-car crash on the highway near Greenville, Alabama. It is a tragedy for Alabama, and, and it's, a, it's a national tragedy when you lose this many children. The other eight all traveling together in a van from the Tallapoosa County Girls Ranch, a nonprofit that provides a home for neglected or abused children. There's no words that can describe the loss that we all feel right now. The, we love these children. They're like our children. Um, the grief is uh, more than I can put into words. The kids ranging from 3 to 17 were heading back to the ranch after a week at the beach. The ranch director was driving the vehicle and is the only survivor after being pulled out of the burning van by a bystander. Near Tuscaloosa, a 24-year-old man and his 3-year-old boy died when a tree fell on their house. Drenching rain, severe winds, and suspected tornadoes in Alabama and across the Florida panhandle demolished homes and tore apart buildings. In Louisiana, cars struggled as heavy rains flooded streets and homes. It was completely flooded all the way. We couldn't get out. There was no way we could have gotten out. We saw somebody walking down the road. It was up to their waist, at least. And back here in Alabama, investigators are trying to determine what exactly led to that horrible crash. And meantime, Claudette has regained strength as a tropical storm heading over North Carolina back out into the Atlantic. Jesse, what's so it like? So what's it like on the ground there today? It's just awful. Everyone is mourning the loss of those sad, sad lives. They had survived so much. These girls were in a group home after surviving their own difficulties. They had been given a second chance at life. That has been taken away from them. And uh, that girl's home also had another car traveling back with them from vacation. Thankfully, those lives were spared, but now they are mourning the loss of their sisters today. And what's been the government response uh, there in Alabama, Jesse? The NTSB sent in 10 investigators last night to start looking over every detail of this crash. They have a lot of work ahead of them. There were 17 cars involved in the pileup, seven of which were on fire, and they are just digging through the debris looking for any clues as to how exactly this happened, although they do suspect hydroplaning. Just a very sad accident. All right, Jesse, thank you so much. Thank you.